Hey guys, welcome back to Let Code. My name is Kaushik. In our previous video, we have learned about classes and constructor methods and variables using TypeScript. Today, we are going to learn about access modifiers and the modules. Before getting into the access modifier and modules, let us first install the TypeScript. So far, we have used TypeScript online compiler or the Qoka plugin that no need of installing TypeScript that can easily do the stuff for us without installing TypeScript also that is going to work for sure. But now we are going to use the TypeScript in our VS code. The installation is very simple just we have to use the npm to install the TypeScript. So I am just going to copy this and if I go to my VS code and control J to bring up my terminal and then simply you have to paste it there right. So npm so node package manager and we are using the install command to do the installation and hyphen g stands for global and then followed by the package name that is our typescript so let me close this and here we know that this is our class called mobile and we have this private variable and public variable right so apart from this we also have a way or uh, not variable we also have access modifiers known as read only so let's consider that we have a mobile that has IMA number, right? Now IMA number must not be changed, right? So it cannot be also duplicate. So that's not, uh, let's not worry about that. Let us see how to make this IMA number not changeable by anyone. So here I'm going to say read only and then followed by IMEI and I'm going to just give some value to it. And we also know that this is going to be of alphanumeric so of course I can use this here as string that's fine right now here using this my mobile object if I try to access those so console.log then followed by the object name then followed by the variable that is IMA right now if I go to my terminal and of course I have to move to this folder first so cd then followed by ts oops and here we have to compile the file right so we cannot run the file directly of course there is a way we'll talk about that maybe in the next video as of now let us understand the traditional way of typescript how it works actually so here we have to compile the file so we have to use the command called tsc tsc is nothing but typescript compiler and then followed by the file name so here I am going to say TSC then followed by the file name that is mobile.ts. Now this compiler is going to convert not convert actually transpile the code into JavaScript file. So here within this TS oops folder here we can see we got a file called mobile.js. Now if you go within this here we can see it has converted all the code whatever we have written there in terms of JavaScript. And here we are also getting some error. So let's not worry about this because these are coming from Selenium WebDriver package, not from our package. So nothing worry about it. So let me just clear it up. And here I have to run my JavaScript file. I cannot run my TypeScript file. So here I have to say, uh, before that, let us see here we are getting some exception, right? So it says that uh, duplicate identifier font because both the classes have the same name so that's not a problem that's vs code is giving us something but that's not actually a problem so here if i go and close this mobile.js file now and if i save here it's going to work for sure so that's not a problem that's actually uh, given by the vs code so let us try to run this now so no then followed by mobile.js please remember you have to run your js file not the ts file so if I hit enter here you can see hey column that is coming from our this method and then followed by this IMA number using this value using this variable right that's absolutely fine. Now let us try to change this value. So here I'm going to say my mobile dot IMI equal to some value right so I'm just going to give some value here. Now, as soon as I do your compiler says that hey Kaushik you are trying to access a read only value that is not possible you cannot change the value of a read-only property we understood that read-only means of course we cannot change the value but we can access it anywhere so what is the difference between public private and read-only 
so public basically means we can use this variable across anywhere so it can be inside the class outside the class or outside of the package or folder so we can use it anywhere within our, our project that's it right whereas private means we can use that within our class itself we cannot use that outside of the class so that is how private works and read only means it is similar to your public but with read only access so you cannot write it or remodify it in anywhere so that is the read only now that brings up another question like what is the difference between const and read only because we know right constant is also similar to read only where if you declare something we cannot change that in anywhere so that is also that is the use of constant that's absolutely fine but the major difference is we use read only for the member function of a class that means any variable declared within the class we can use read only for example here i cannot change like this so let me just copy it here and here i cannot say const right so that is not possible we know that within the class we cannot declare const let or par that we already talked in our javascript video so probably you have to check that out so here we know that we cannot use this const variable within the class functions right the class variables but whereas I can use this const or anything within my functions or the method. So here I can paste and this is going to work for sure. Now here if I try to change this, so that is also not going to work for sure. So here I'm going to say, hey, something like that. Now here also we are getting something, some error says that, hey Koshik, you're trying to assign a value to the constant that is not possible. So this is the difference. So if you want to change if you don't want to change your variable that are present in the class level class variable then you have to go with this read only whereas constant is also similar to read only but it can be accessed or declared within the functions or the class methods so that is the difference between read only and constant so we understood what is private public and read only now let us understand what is the concept of module so module is basically introduced in the javascript um, 2015 version so mostly whatever we are going to write like functions or the classes or any method within the functions or the variable or anything we cannot use that outside of a module we know that right in our javascript video also we saw that to use the class outside uh, outside outside in the sense to use the object or create the object in anywhere we have to export our classes right so there we have a syntax like, uh, let me show you that. So if I go to this, um, oops, concept, and if I go to this classes and method, and here we can see that we have export our classes, right? So here we did the export first. So where was that? Yeah. So here we export this, and then within this class, we have used this using the require statement. So this is how we have to do in JavaScript. But in TypeScript, it is going to be very much simple. So here, uh, let me comment this, so this is not possible. So here we have to say this class, this model, I want to use this model, right? So here I have to say export and that's it. We can use this class anywhere. To import this class, let me create another class here. So I'm going to create another class as my mobile dot ts. And here I'm going to create an object for this. So let us make this as constant. And then we can say uh, my mobile equal to new then followed by the mobile that is my class name right so if I do like this and here you can see it already done the import statement for us so whenever I'm going to write like this control space so let me just show you again so mobile and then it is going to bring up this pop-up and also it says that auto import so when I hit enter it is going to do the import statement for us right so here this import keywords so that means we are importing something from the other classes and this is going to be your mobile that is your class name and from is the keyword like from where we are getting this mobile class so here dot slash means current folder and this mobile is our actual file name okay and here we are getting some exceptions because of course we have to add the model name and the number in our constructor so here i'm just going to quickly give like apple and maybe uh, it does something like that that's it right now here 
and here we know that this mobile is going to be of type mobile right so i can explicitly say that as well so here i can just give colon and here i can say like this so this is also pretty much fine now if i try to uh, call something so here i can say my mobile dot and then ima equal to some value so again this is not possible because we know that our ima is read only property that's fine now let us try to call some function so here i would say my mobile then followed by make call and here if i go to this of course i cannot run directly so again i have to do the transpile i mean i have to do the compile so here i'm going to say cd then followed by my mobile now let us um, if you notice here in this particular folder we have this mobile and my mobile ts now as soon as i do this here you can see we are going to get a new file called my mobile.js right so here we can see we got this and here if you go inside this here you can see we are able to see the require statement so internally everything is compiled to the javascript so from the javascript only typescript is able to run but typescript has the some features like um, read only properties or um, it will give you strict data type so that is why typescript is famous but of course javascript is like mother language so comparing to typescript so if you know javascript then learning typescript is very easy so don't worry about typescript you can just learn in the go so nothing much there differences but you have to be strong in javascript so let me clear this and let me call my node then followed by my mobile dot js and that is going to work for sure right so here we are getting this hey calling and this followed by it. now we are getting hey calling two times because because here also we are able to call this right so once we create object here also this things is calling so that is the reason we are getting twice so what can i do is i can simply command this out here and here if i go to this particular place let me recompile it again and if i run this now so here it's going to give us a hey column right so that's absolutely fine so in this video we have learned about what is the use of read only and what is the use of uh, public private and also we understand the difference between read only and constant so in the next video we will learn about inheritance concept in typescape so thank this thanks for watching see you in the next one if you like the video consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel